Hey listeners, welcome back to Somi's Chai and Chat. In today's episode, we will go over the birth of Satyagraha, a very important chapter in Gandhi's life. Stay tuned. Satyagraha came into existence when Gandhi was in Johannesburg and um, he was trying to change some of the aspects about his life putting some restraints on building the community and um, setting up the settlement in the phoenix area by the time gandhi had come up with this uh, principle of satyagraha he had also taken the vow of brahmacharya that is um, self restraint on any of the pleasures that he has in his marriage and satyagraha came after words and he didn't have this word in the beginning but he had the principle in mind before having the word itself he had a gujarati term which was more of the english phrase passive resistance to describe what satyagraha meant however there was um, this narrow construct around passive resistance and it was supposed to be a weapon of the weak than the weapon of the strength therefore he wasn't very keen on using that terminology when it becomes passive resistance he also thought that it could be characterized by hatred and then finally leaving leading to violent behavior therefore he restrained using the term passive resistance and was um, thinking of much better word to come up with one of his cousins maganlal gandhi he coined this word because gandhi was running a newspaper company in uh, south africa called indian opinion and he created a um, um, news there or created a kind of competition saying the people who can come up with a good name for this principle they'll get a nominal prize uh, for the best suggestion therefore his cousin came up with the word sadagraha that was a first word instead of satyagraha and sadagraha won the prize and then um gandhi changed it to satyagraha meaning sat means truth and agraha means firmness so be- together it became satyagraha in the same effort of continuing brahmacharya and satyagraha which went hand in hand for gandhi because the type of food he was consuming impacted how he felt according to his experiments and um, once in 15 days gandhi also did a complete fast we call it as ekadashi day that is um, once in fortnight hindus follow this day to fast and uh, cleanse the body therefore gandhi was following that as well with some experiments um, along with another friend in south africa they experimented with the uh, food a lot which helped in improving the satyagraha uh, principle so some of the foods were giving up salt and giving up on um, teas and uh, giving up on even pulses to some extent and anything that gave pleasure so giving that up it's self depriving putting a self restraint on consuming that because of getting the pleasure out of it was the main goal therefore denial of pleasure became one of the main goals in order to strengthen the satyagraha principle there are a many there are many short stories on 
satyagraha that gandhi has uh, mentioned in his book um i would like to give my listeners a chance here to think about satyagraha or having a restraint on putting a self restraint not by somebody else not because your tradition tells you not because your religion tells you to do so but it's more of your own self initiated deprivation or putting a self restraint on something have you ever thought of um, putting anything like that on yourself if so what is it and why did you decide to do that i can share a story on this i decided to give up on uh, taking hot showers on daily basis and that came in winter of 2017 i think it will be around 3 years in 2020 and i do use hot water when i have oiled my hair when i have to clean my hair i use hot warm to hot water but on a daily basis i don't use hot water and this came because i wanted to become more sustainable in my way of living because whenever in us whenever we switch on the shower we have to wait for the water to turn from cold to hot and i was feeling very bad about that for many many years and i've tried putting the bucket and saving the water and pouring it outside it just became so laborious and took extra time therefore i decided that it's better i give up on the hot water instead and use the cold water for shower and that has improved the time that it consumes in showering and also there is no wastage of water so that way it helped me to um commit to my uh cold water showering and that putting the self restraint on myself which i have surprisingly i have committed to that for more than two and a half years it will be close to three years now so think about something that you have decided to do and what is the basis of that with that i would like to end today's um podcast session we will come up with another one talk about more about gandhi and um, i'm very much looking forward to the last few episodes to discuss with my listeners because october end i will be ending about gandhi take care and bye bye